Dawson's Rentals. Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here. Just ahead of Toy Fair, we got some exciting Power Rangers news to whet our appetites for this weekend's hopefully decent amount of good news. Uh, before we get into the lightning collection, let's just go ahead and start off right off the bat and say we got a Beast Morphers premiere date. Uh, thanks to Ranger Command Power Hour for uh, initially posting it, I believe. I'll link to their article in the description. But March 2nd is our official premiere date for Power Rangers Beast Morphers. So that's super cool. We have that. It's super soon, not ultra. Um, about two weeks. Uh, that's kind of crazy. Like, I assumed it would be March. Maybe April at the latest. Like, I knew that things were going to be a little bit awkward this year because of the transition. Well, not awkward, but you know what I mean. Like, it wouldn't be business as usual. So, like, usually it's like February on the date, usually, or whatever. And we're kind of used to a pattern for these last eight years. So, you know, I was expecting a little bit of a delay while they figured things out and, and all that. So, but I'm excited. Given that it's only two weeks away, I kind of wish it was announced a little bit back. Like, if it were me, I would have done it, like, uh, with a month leeway to do a little bit more advertising. I'll be interested to see how much advertising is done in the next two weeks, where it comes from and stuff. But, regardless, I'm super excited to actually get to check out the show and have new Power Rangers to watch. Hopefully, some good new Power Rangers to watch. Um, and then, last night, we got kind of a, uh, a leaked picture of what... Some of the legacy figure, legacy lightning collection figures. Well, I think it's going to be the first wave. All of these were mentioned in the the listings we got a few months back, um, and I don't like. I don't know. This doesn't say like, oh, wave one for sure. Like I'm assuming this is within the first waves. It looks like it's probably wave one. I just don't want to say anything for sure. But it's some of the first like lightning figures we're getting. I keep wanting to say legacy. So we have MNPR White, which we've already seen. Uh, you know, we saw that at uh, PMC. So we got another picture of that. We got Lord Zed. Uh, we got Shadow Ranger from Power Rangers SPD and Dino Charge Red Ranger from Power Rangers Dino Charge. Um, again, these were ones we knew about from the listings, but we have actual pictures of more people than just white, and they look pretty awesome. I, I remember like when I first saw the picture, they did look a little weird to me, and I had to inspect it because they're like kind of digitally done too, so they look a little funny proportion-wise. Like when I first looked at Shadow, the way his head's leaning, looked like he didn't have a neck, and like. Red was posed funny, but they look pretty good, I have to say, and I'm pretty excited um, just to see, like, this first wave or, or one of the first waves as, like, a little bit more diverse of the seasons. I think, like, if these four are the first wave, like, if they do kind of a part one of two thing, I know there was, like, six or, or more listings. I remember MMPR Pink being in there, but we'll see. But just speaking of these four, um, I think it's a pretty smart lineup. You know, you got two MMPRs. Um, to entice nostalgic people. One of them is a villain, so it's nice because we didn't do villains in the Lightning Collection. Um, you know, they did do the monsters and stuff during Ninja Steel and Dino Charge, but the last time we got, I, or at least the last thing I remember, a proper, like, good Lord Zed figure was those Super Legends Chaser figures during Jungle Fury. So, like, I think it's good. Like, it's more MMPR, but it's something we haven't really been oversaturated with. I mean, MMPR White's, I think, a cool choice because I love the suit, and it's nice to not just have, like, oh my god, green! Because, like, the top three Zom MMPR choices are green, red, red with green's armor. So, like, it's nice to see the White Ranger, you know, be the first one to be released. I think that's cool. Like, I'm not sure why they don't take advantage of him more, because I feel like, shouldn't he be just as popular? He was in the GD movie. Uh, but anyway, uh, then, you know, Shadow Ranger is, like, a popular fan choice. I mean, it's an awesome suit. I feel like people even that just see it that don't know about Power Rangers would be like, oh yeah, that's awesome, you know, or they're just casuals. And I think Dino Charge Red's also a good choice because, you know, we know Dinosaur Cell. No, but it's from a, a recent season, you know, that did pretty well, I think. Uh, so you could get, you know, kids or, or newer fans that are more familiar with that. So I think it's a pretty smart lineup while not just being like all MMPR. And I remember they said they were supposed to have head sculpts. We saw Tommy's, so I think that Tyler's could come with one. I don't know what Zed's would come with. Maybe he'll do something extra special because he wouldn't have an alternate head. Unless they give us purified Zed's head from uh, Countdown to Destruction, which would be actually really hilarious. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, Doggies is possible. I would actually like to see that. Um, I would totally buy two of them if he came with an alternate head. I want to see, like, an alternate head that's, like, Doggy Kruger from SPD, and then a super rare one that's just Doogie. Because I think we got a figure that was basically Doggy Kruger from, uh, Decoranger. But anyway, this is super exciting. I'm super excited for these figures and just to have a lot more different Rangers coming out. Um, 
also excited about the premiere day. Again, I just wish they would have announced it a little earlier to give more marketing, but who knows, maybe it'll be an amazing marketing palooza. I don't even know why I just said palooza, but you know, in the next couple weeks. But as I've mentioned numerous times in these videos, uh, Toy Fair is this weekend, so I will be sure to keep you guys updated. I'm fully expecting to see like physical stuff of most of the things I've been talking about. Hopefully some new surprises, probably a little bit more lightning collection, uh, maybe some things we haven't even you know, heard about in listings, and there's a rumor that we're gonna get a trailer this weekend. So that would be super cool, and I'd be, I'd love to be talking about that with you guys. Anyway, until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and of course, don't forget to comment the steps and ring that bell to get notifications for all my Power Rangers news and Twitter reviews. Dawson Ryder, signing out.